Hello everybody and welcome back to I Want a Mini Bike Day 3 And uh, after a few false alarms we survived the second night um, So let's see what damage was done Be very very careful I don't see anything This is good I did hear some zombie swinging over uh, uh, yeah i did hear some zombie swinging but i don't see anything as of yet uh i don't see any zombies either i don't see any damage all right so i have a waypoint set on the house let's head back to the other place uh how am i gonna do this i guess i guess i'm going to move my stuff and then move the bed. Yeah, that makes sense. That's the smart way to do it. Uh, no, I don't want. I don't want that. Go away. Um, yeah, move the stuff from the chests, which is gonna take a couple tries. And then move uh, the bed. Thought I saw a rock. I know. I'm still picking up rocks. I do this for a while until I get like iron pickaxes and such when I can just start chopping down stones like the big stones that you get iron from that way you can get everything uh, I do want to say um, before I get too far in here that I apologize if there are any audio sync issues um, there is a I guess I'm going to call it a glitch in the brand new version of Adobe Premiere I use, uh, I, I have a subscription to the Creative Cloud, the Adobe Creative Cloud, because I couldn't find out how to buy the real Adobe Premiere. Um, just take it all. That'll be quick. Um, ooh, did I bring bottles? Yes, okay, I brought a bunch of glass jars, and I should bring this. Uh, I have wood planks. Do I have any logs anywhere? No. All right, it's not a big problem. But I'm thinking I should have. I should uh, start cooking up some water. I'm very low on hydration, and very low on food. And while I have food, it's the kind of food that takes away your uh, hydration, and that can be a big, big problem. And I'd rather avoid the dysentery if I can avoid it. That sounded a little redundant. Anyways, so I was saying, um, I have a subscription to the Creative Cloud, and I have the uh, I have Adobe Premiere, Photoshop. I have all kinds of crap from Adobe. I got it hella cheap. They were giving out some kind of deal, and for a year, I got all of their really creative stuff for like fifty bucks a month. Really good deal. Uh, considering that the two programs I wanted, uh, Premiere and Photoshop, combined would have cost me like 75 bucks a month. So I get a deal. And, and I get access to After Effects, which I still haven't used yet. No idea how to use it. But anyways, uh, so before, everything seemed to work fine. The default setting for YouTube never gave me any crap. And then I got a recent update. And then ever since then, every single video I encode and upload tells me that, um, or, or, yeah, YouTube tells me that it's, you know, out of sync. Your, the audio video might be out of sync and you have to adjust the settings. I'm like, really? So I went and I dug through and I looked at the settings in Adobe, and I looked at the requirements in YouTube, and everything seemed to be fine. So, I don't know what it was talking about, really. I I have no idea. Um, so, I'm working on it right now. I've changed a few settings, and the last video I uploaded, which was actually uh, the second episode, number two, seemed to be fine. It didn't complain at me or anything, and it looked fine. Uh, so, I guess I'm gonna have to see. I'm still waiting for it to finish processing, so I have no idea if it actually worked. I know I should probably figure that out before I started recording this, but... Mm, lump of coal. 
Oh, I've got a message. Uh, I'm sorry, Jet. I'm kind of busy. Um, all right. So I need to put you there. I need some water. Okay, already opened. And this is the advantage of having a house with a toilet. Ready, infinite supply of clean, or not clean water. You just gotta cook it. Boop, boop. Six, cook. All right, so there we go. Uh, all right, anyways, uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I was, I was offloading the stuff that's in my inventory. That's what I was doing. I should make a chest, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'd uh, break down the chests that are over there and bring them over here, but you can't pick up chests. So once you got one, that's that's it. Once you put it down, you're, you're done. Boop. Uh, that's food. That's grain alcohol. That should be in a medical chest, and it will be in a medical chest eventually. I'm just not there yet. Um, but... Try to organize my stuff, but for right now, I'm not going to try to organize very hard. I'm just going to focus on getting the stuff over here. And then some night while I'm cowering in a corner, I'll uh, organize my chests. You know, something to do. Ah. Alright, so anything interesting, I would like squishy noises. I love the sound effects of this game. I really do. Uh, no, don't pick up anything else right now. I can go scavenging later. Let's focus on the task at hand. And the task at hand is just moving in. Move in. Uh, move my bed so I, my spawn point moves. Set up the house so it's a good, safe place to be at night. Which shouldn't take too long. Um, now that I have a new axe. Once I get a, uh like fire axe once I start getting some iron going. Now that I have a forge, I can do that too. Uh, that'll take some time, because this is all I have, but it'll work. Oh, wait. Oh, there we go, okay. And then bed, and back the way we go. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, once I get, like, a fire axe and stuff like that, it'll be easier. Um, but since I have a forge... Ooh. <sighs> now that I think about that, can I make iron things without the forge ahead book? Like, if I wanted to make a, a fire axe, I can. I, of course, need the uh, iron ingots, which I can make in the forge. Oh, shit, but I can't make the molds, can I? Shit, 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 shit. Mold. Uh, iron arrowhead jar. Glass window mold. Iron ingot mold. No? Okay. Um, so I guess the forge ahead book is just to make that forge. Which is kind of a pain in the ass to make nowadays. Because you need, like, leather and crap. <laughs> it is kind of a pain in the butt. I actually, uh... In the old world I had... I had a forge already before that update before they changed how the forge was made I had a forge and I had all the iron I had everything like that and I was pretty well set but it still was a pain in the ass to actually you know make a forge I don't know all right so bed 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 an old bed yes I want you there no I didn't want you that way. No, go away. Let's put you the right direction. Boop, 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 boop. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's what I want. All right. Um, I need another chest. Just because I'm not, I don't have enough space right now. Which is to be expected. I mean, once I get into it, I'm going to have, like, a dozen chests easy. Because that's how I play the game. Alright, let's put everything else away. Oh, that was food. So let's put food in here. Glass jars will keep separate. 
Actually, I'll put a chest up there, and that's where I'll put all the food. Because that refrigerator is not going to hold all the food I carry. Uh, we got 13 bottles. Uh, where is... Let's see. I need that. And I need... Um... I only have one wood log left. I'm going to need more. I'm going to need lots more for doing what I plan on doing. I think I heard a zombie. There's one over there. Hmm. I don't know if I'm going to bother to clear out this area like I would normally do. Because I don't plan on living here for long. I plan on making my own ho home somewhere else safe. This is this is temporary residence. See, I think a tree's actually gonna fall my way. Not 100% sure. I look like I'm on flat surface. Let's see, where are you moving? You're moving that way, okay. I wonder if they fixed that thing where all the trees tended to fall into the ground. Hmm. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. I'm sure I'll find out. All right, so 15 bottles cooked, so put them back there. We want to split. Split. There we go. 13. Nope. 15. Boop. And that's going to take 7.30. Wow. Cook. All right, then I can get me some goldenrod tea. Because, oh, I wonder if they changed that as well. I guess I'll find out here really soon. Um... The last update changed how hydration worked. So goldenrod tea didn't work as well as it used to. And I wonder if they changed that again. I did find the change log. Still not showing up in my Steam for some reason. Uh, but I did find the change log. And they, have, they didn't add anything. They fixed a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff that I didn't recognize were problems because I didn't know what the crap they were talking about. I can't see my crosshair. Um, that is really hard to see my crosshair right there. <laughs> like disappears into that rock. Um, anyways, they did. They added one thing, changed one thing, and fixed a whole bunch of things. And I don't think it was anything major. So I don't think this is a big update, which is probably why I heard nothing about it. I was going to say, I hear something. One more. There we go. All right. So, uh, not a big update. Don't think it's going to be a problem. Which I guess makes me a little disappointed that I deleted my old world. And I didn't want to. What I wanted to do, what I really originally wanted to do was keep the old world, just change the user profile. Because you can do that in this game. You can switch between user profiles. But I did. And when I logged in the server, I logged in as the same person. So I had all my stuff. I was in the home and everything like that. So it didn't work all that well. And I was a little disappointed, to say the least. I have no label on my can. I still have my can, and I have the food that went with it. And now it's gone. Does it work twice? Okay. I did not know that. I guess it makes sense. I mean, it's a large ration. Um. Hmm. Interesting. Definitely interesting. All right, so that'll be enough for a little while. I'll let those continue to cook. And let's see, what are my priorities right now? Couldn't get out of my freaking inventory. Uh, plants I don't need, plants I don't need. Duct tape is useful for making the mini bike, so that is the first part we need for a mini bike. Um, let's see, I'll put glass jars in there. Goes there. Yeah, that'll work. Logs there. Yep, yeah, gonna be organizing. Gonna need to organize here soon. Alright, so where, oh where, oh where do I want to start? I think I want to start 
by getting iron. Because I want a, uh, like a fire axe. I hear something. I may be hallucinating. Nope, wasn't hallucinating. <laughs> oh, are you a horde? There's three of you assholes. Are there only three of you assholes? I got enough arrows. Nope, there aren't only three of you assholes. Nope, I'm going to defend my house. I missed him, hit her. Come on, die. Die, you bastards. There we go. This also turns out to be a very good thing to do. If you can do it safely. Basically, stay the fuck away. But, uh... Gotta level up in this game. Gotta, gotta, gotta level up in this game. More duct tape. Uh... Because that's one of the ways to just absolutely dominate this game. Is to suck it up. Oh, it was a horde. It's just the slower zombies showed up later. I may have to run away. Because these fat bastards don't die. There we go. I also have a very low level bow that is now broken. Shit. Ugh. That's one of the main reasons why you need, need, need to level up in this game. Is because, you know, your stuff breaks too damn quick. Uh, I think this will be a stick. Yes. Stick. Yes. Give, give me. Uh, bow. Stick. Boop. Not completely fixed, but oh well. I have eight arrows left. No, 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 no. You're not taking up sentry around my house, damn it. Bastards. Hit her in the throat. I've kind of noticed uh, that this game is very, very heavily based on exactly where you hit. Like, if you hit the zombie in the top of the head, it does more damage than if you hit the zombie in the bottom of the head. I'm out of arrows. Yay! Um... And I don't know if that's just, like, a mistake in the hitbox or just something that's kind of uh, BS on my part. Like, just a mistake. I'm seeing it wrong or something. But if it's real, I like that. I like that a lot. Because you're not supposed to shoot the zombies in the head. General. You're supposed to shoot the zombies in the brain. So, if it is based on exactly where you hit the zombies like that, that is awesome. And also more detailed than most uh, shooter games that I've ever seen, because they're mostly just, you know, shoot them in the head and be done with it. It doesn't matter if you shoot them in the jaw, it counts as a headshot. I obviously need way more uh, arrows. I have some arrow iron, iron arrowheads. I don't know how many, and I should definitely keep them so I can make a mold eventually. Ooh, I need clay. That's a big thing, I need clay. I'm hearing things, and the last sound I just heard was my computer, like one of my hard drives was being accessed. And I heard it, and I felt it through my fingers, and it just freaked me the hell out. Mm. Anyways, um... So let's see, what do I got? 11, 11, and 82. Hmm. It's almost intentional. Let's see if I can remember how to do these properly. That's arrows, right? Yes, it is. It makes 55. That's enough to last for a while. I need clay. Where is a good place to get clay? What is... Clay kind of looks like dirt. Really. Let's hit up here. Let's see what this is. This is different, slightly looking from dirt, but it still looks like dirt. Boop, 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 
you, and you are clay. Sweet. Bullseye. Because that's what I need. I need clay. Uh, and that'll give me the iron molds. And then I need the iron, of course. Which is going to evolve a hell of a lot of this. Just instead of at the dirt, it will be at giant rocks. But yes, we've got clay. That should make uh, quite a few clay lumps. And I know where clay is, so I can get more of it when I need it. Uh, like, you need the clay as it is here. Not the clay lumps, but you need this to make the forge. Hi, Mr. Piggy. Still don't intend on killing you yet. Okay. Uh, moving along on that one. How the fuck did he get up there? He just kind of went up here. You're a weird pig. Hmm. All right. So, ooh, we have coal over there. Sweet. Sweet. Still working on those. But that's okay. That's a good thing. Uh, boop. Load. Faulty arrow. I think it's a faulty arrow, not because, you know, the arrow itself is faulty, but it's because of the bow. I think the quality of the bow is what determines the quality of the arrows. Which would be kind of neat if they fixed. Because um, I get the feeling that it's not supposed to be that way. It's just a feeling that I get. I don't know if it's true or not, but it, it's a feeling that I get, and I think it's true, that uh, the quality, or that there would be, it would be neat to combine the quality of the arrows and the quality of the bow uh, yeah just adds another level of complexity to the game which I kind of like all the intricacies of it I don't know it just seems to work well and I think I heard another thing where are you are you in my house you fucker hi Mr. Piggy stick around longer I'm going to name you Nope, you're right there, you asshole. Screw you, you bastard. <sighs> you weren't even nice enough to give me anything. Alright, so let's get started on getting me some iron. I know, I pick up stones instead of going for iron. And this may take several minutes. Yeah. So. How about them Nicks? Oi. Now, well, this is what you do when you first get the game. Oh, that went a lot faster than I expected it to go, actually. I heard another swing that wasn't aligned with my swings. The pig is now on the porch. He has his head stuck in the railing. All right, whatever. You yeah, know, to each his own, I guess. Hmm. One more. Come on. Thank you. All right, moving along. How much iron did I get? Not a hell of a lot. Eight. That's not going to be enough to do much. So I'm going to have to chop down some more rocks, which conveniently there are plenty around. And these things just give you stone, right? I don't see any differences. I've never seen iron, naturally. Like, iron veins? Never seen one. I've seen, um... Um... Sheet. What is that stuff called? You can make charcoal, or, uh, uh, uh gunpowder out of it. Gunpowder. This stuff. Potassium nitrate. I found potassium nitrate in the wild. I know where that stuff is. And we're gonna be lucky to stumble upon it but uh basically the potassium nitrate is in caves all right so in the last world i went caving to find like iron veins didn't find crap found coal lots and lots of coal no iron lots of things that look like they were different i'm like oh well that's definitely a vein of something chop 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 nope it's just stone bastards 
So I have never actually seen iron in the wild in Alpha 12. I've seen, yeah, I've seen iron in the wild in Alpha 11, back when they had the, uh, uh, shit. The, 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 damn it. Ugh. Crap, basically the giant ass cliffs that I had, that I just built my first place on. Um, yeah, totally forget the name of, that I'm thinking of right now. <laughs> Not having luck with that. Anyways, um, yeah, uh, saw them in Alpha 11. Was it Alpha 11 where I first started? No, I started in Alpha 10. I saw them in Alpha 10, never saw them in Alpha 11, never saw them in Alpha 12. Um, and in 12.4, I went mining. Whee! Or caving, I should say, not mining caving and didn't find crap and uh i'm actually starting to question if you know iron veins actually exist i mean i can imagine they're quite rare since uh you know it's probably quite rare in reality to find an iron vein well relatively speaking you probably can't just dig under your house and find an iron vein but i don't know and I don't know if it's supposed to be as rare as it is, or if I'm just really, really unlucky when it comes to that kind of thing. I don't know. Uh, I will try again. But even in that cliff back there, saw nothing like that. There were no veins of anything, which is kind of a shame. So, I don't know. There's a hair on my pop filter, and it's tickling my nose when I talk, and it's annoying as shit. It's what happens when I grow up, or when I live with, uh, two cats. One of which, yeah, is kind of wound up at the moment. Playing out by the door. Whee! Ooh, already looked there. Alright, so how much iron do we have? 27. I think that should be enough. Bloop. Bloop. Alright, so what do we have to worry about? Uh, mold... I want iron ingot mold. Oh, but I need clay first. That'll get me nine clay. Lots of clay. Uh, so what do I have to worry about? I have to worry about attracting zombies in this game. And that's going to become a bigger concern later on. Uh, because uh, zombies are based on... 6.8, and it needs 3, so I can get 2, which means I can get a fire axe. Cool. Uh, not what I need, though. Not all that I need. Uh, I would prefer a pickaxe. So let's go out, hunt for a little bit more iron, and get a pickaxe. That way I can chop down these rocks that much faster. Though this is surprisingly quick. And, uh... Yeah. Hi, Piggy. You know, I have eggs. I should make bacon and eggs. Hmm. In a moment. Come on. There we go. Ooh, I wonder if that changed. I wonder if the hitboxes for the, uh, the giant rocks changes as you chop them down now. Hmm. That would actually be kind of cool and a little bit more interesting. All right, Mr. Piggy, where'd you go? There you are. Come here, Mr. Piggy. I don't want to hurt you. Much. I missed. Damn it. Gonna have to go hunting. Damn it. Pigs climb too fast. Oh, come on. The pig climbed it. Oh, come on, come on. A little further, a little further. There we go. Hi, Mr. Piggy. He was right freaking there. There's another pig. <laughs> Shot him in the ass. Come on, one more. Damn it. It's hard to shoot these damn things. Freaking 
dead yet. God damn it. Oh, now he did. Kill the zombies because I'm about to start drawing the attention of all of the zombies in the area because I want food. Come on. Would I freaking learn how to aim for like two seconds? Oh, dude. I'm usually better at this, I swear. Shit. <laughs> I just drew all of the zombies. Oh, you're fucking kidding me. Oh, no, it's still there. It's just invisible. Zombies coming up right behind me. Run the fuck away. <laughs> it's like I hear them. Just don't want to deal with them at the moment. Not when I have food. All right, so this will get me bacon and eggs. Bacon and eggs are really, really good. And that was a bear. <laughs> Fuck. That's the problem with uh, working in the forest is dealing with the fucking bears. Yeah. Back at our little house in the woods. Cute little house in the woods. Yeah. All right, so let's quickly... Oh, shit, I don't have... Fuck, 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 fuck. Uh, put you away for right now. Deal with the crap that I just brought down on me. I hear you. Where are you, you bastard? There you are. Just one of the crawling bastards, nothing major. Anything else? I hear a bear. That is something I don't want to have to deal with. I do not hear any more zombies. Where is this fucking bear? He sounds really close, but I don't see him. Hmm. All right. Whatever. Is that him? No, that's a tree. Shit. <laughs> uh, anyways, all right. I need one more rock. So I can make me some iron. There we go. There's a fat boy. Nothing. Nothing at risk right now. Keeping my ears open. It's not working all that well. I gotta watch out for my axe. Don't want to drop it again. Or break it again, I should say. Which I guess if I was smart, I would just repair it. Because I have stone. And it only takes one stone. And it's fairly quick. It does look like the hitbox of the stone does change a little bit, which is really, really cool. And it's actually a change I've kind of wanted. I mean, it wasn't a big change, but it was a, one of the small changes I wanted just to make everything just a little bit more realistic. All right, I hear you. And I hear you swinging. Well, I found the bear. Anyways, is that zombie swinging a problem? No, it looks like the zombie and the bear are going at it. So I'm going to let them go at it. I don't think the bear will, like, attack my house or anything. Uh, 10.3. That's something. Uh, da -ba -da -ba -da. Fuel, fuel, fuel. Should grab some of that coal. Uh, I've got wood planks there, but there's plenty of wood logs here. 
So let's use that. Uh, minute 22, so boom, diada. Uh, got water. Now, about food. How am I going to do that? I would just boil this stuff and just use the, 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 or just use the pot for right now, but I don't want to. Oh, but I have nine short pipes. We can do this. Yay! I can make bacon and eggs. Bing! Alright, so I need all of my eggs. Do I only have four eggs? Bullshit! I didn't think so. That zombie's really close. Alright, so bacon. No. Eggs. Oh, right, 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 right. Forgot, forgot, forgot. This goes there. Then that goes there. And this goes here. There. Now we have bacon and eggs. And it takes 30 seconds to bake three of them. Alright. Interesting. Is that actually 30 seconds? Yep. That's actually 30 seconds. Interesting. Uh, 2100 hours. The, the fight that's getting much, much closer to my house is really annoying. The bear is right freaking there. And it doesn't care about that zombie. Why doesn't it care about that zombie? I mean, I'm sure it would attack me if I came anywhere near it. And I don't intend to. In fact, I'm going to hurry up and get inside before it comes around this side. And hopefully by tomorrow, it will go away. I'm still not smelly with bacon eggs. Cool. Yay! Ooh, look, my stamina cap has increased to 101. That is the first time I have ever seen that. Alright, I have enough health to slowly heal? Wait, I didn't get hit. Did I? I don't remember getting hit. Hmm. All right, so 2,100 hours. Uh, I don't have any more sticks, so let's make some sticks. Okay, Mr. Bear, your job for tonight is to protect the house. Kill any zombies that come anywhere near this house. Please. Uh, yeah, three iron ingots, that's cool. I can make a fire axe. No, I can make a pickaxe. Pickaxe is important. Uh, anything else I need to worry about right now? No. Don't have a lot of arrows left again. So that should be something I focus on tomorrow. After I cower in fear from this fucking bear that's outside my house. Um. Yeah, so that's something I'll focus on tomorrow is getting me some more arrows so I can go ape shit killing zombies. And, uh, uh, let's see, uh, pickaxe, iron arrowheads, arrows, kill zombies, get better stuff, yeah, so on and so forth. That's the general idea, so, uh, again, unless something happens in the night, which I hope it doesn't, so far so good, but, uh, we are only on day three, I will see you guys in the next episode, and as always, keep playing the game, and have fun.